Hello everyone, welcome to you on my channel. In my last video, we learned the progress chart. Today, we are going to learn about different types of pie charts. Let us begin. There are different types of charts in the pie. Number one, 3D pie chart, a simple pie chart, pie of pie chart, bar of pie and donut chart. Today you will see that these types of charts we will learn how to develop these pie charts. And the important one here as well chart within the chart. See all my data is presenting here we will learn how to prepare this as well. So I am going to make another sheet. Okay. Now I will remove all my data from here, this whatever I had already developed. This is my data, select the data, insert chart, first we will generate the 3D pie chart, it is very easy, you can see it here. I prepared this one for you. Now it is ready. You can just click here anywhere on your data and you can right click add data labels and you can find your data as well. This is a 3D pie chart and I will go to the format series. You will find here I want to make some changes here with this chart, you can do it. See this one pi explosion. I will do explosion of this one. I separated some of the part. Now I just want to separate this part. Okay. I just go to here on this three bars and here point of explosion I will increase this one. You can see this. It is segregating. I just want to segregate this one as well. Uh, you can see it now, it is doing it is 3D. And here it is showing only it is humidity. Now I want to make change here instead of humidity, it should be weather. See, it is there. Rain as well, it is there. Legend is available on what day it is. The simple way you can bring your data, right click and add labels and it, it will be there. You can make it here from white and you can increase the font color, font size. See I made this one. Now the next chart what we are going to learn is this one is first chart. Now pie chart, simple pie chart. Okay, Insert, go here in the charts, click pie chart. You can make the size from here format 3 by 3. It is there. In a simple way you can just right click on the chart, add label data. You can see here weather, the same way this is 3D and it is simple chart now. I am going to add my values as well here, rain apply it and add label. I just want to make the changes in the color, white and bold. And then I will go here as well, white and bold. See this one, the same way you can make changes of the color. Okay, If you want to make change here in this color, you can fill the color, any other color which you would like, like I am looking for this one, I change with this color. So it is up to you, if you want, you can make changes, make the changes in the color as well. Okay. Now we will create the pie of pie chart, insert and here we will select this option, but first we need to select the data insert this and this, you can see it, 
it is humidity and I want to make a size as well 3 by 3 okay you can see it here all that has been created I add the labels and I want to make a change of the color white and gold see here in this chart some of the data it is outside the border which you can if you increase little bit size of the chart it will come inside now from here as well you can select your series for what series you are looking for data and add all up to values it's up to you okay see here now and the next value is rain in millimeters and add label bold so this is the third option pi in pi chart and now we will make bar of pi select your data go insert charts and here you can just simple click on this add labels home color okay and here this color is black it's outside the so you can choose this color as well to make it prominent uh, weather apply right click add label data then again you can select rain apply and your data is here available now different formats you can apply on different types of the charts for example today we will see it here what we can do we will little bit have an intro about it it's all about your experience and your working with your options what you have it so it's much better whenever you are preparing something try to make the experiments different types of experiments see here for example it is uh, this data is with me I'm going to uh, see here this is the color I just want to make a change here I can go and I can apply the color see here now it is changing the color purple then you know the pattern you can use the different types of pattern here see it is there you can use the different patterns this gradient fill you can see this one and from that gradient fill you can choose different types of see shadows and all this one you can see it clearly that it is changing the shadow color as well see here I am just putting back here this one and this one see you can see it now different shadows are there so it is all up to you that what you want see here now I just change this color going to change this color different shadows different lines are there uh, you can uh, make the position and in uh, th this method transparency as well you can increase or decrease see it's changing uh, border color if I'm looking for to fill solid line see you can see it now it's giving the solid line as well and uh, here there are different uh, shadows are there you can apply different types you see it's giving a shadow so uh, this one is a, a rotation in the slice as well see it is rotating the chart if you are looking some values to be on the right or left side pi explosion see it is giving you the segregation between the pies so it's up to you how you want to present your data if you want to make with this one uh, there is another option uh, you know uh, I'm looking uh, to make the changes here as well right click format data labels and you will see here I want category name here it is reflecting the category name I, uh, the series name it is showing me the series name uh, not series name percentage uh, it is what percentage of the whole data it is giving you that one uh, 
So, it is different options values from the cell you want to bring in you can do it series name. So, different types of options are available with you. Uh, in the next video we will learn about the donor chart that is called chart within the chart uh, we will learn in the next video. Thank you very much. Feedback. I hope you enjoyed this video and before leaving if you have not already subscribed this channel make sure to subscribe like and hit the bell icon to get updates when I post new videos provide your feedback in comments.